It's good. Give from a guy named Marco. He's a great painter. It's Marco. He loves to paint. That's how he rolls. Meet his friends. Pookaberry, the alien baby. Together, they are. Speak the truth, yo. Hey, I'm Desert Dog. Marco's going down to Teddy Ride, Colorado to be the official poacher artist for their 34th Annual Jazz Fest. But that's only if he can sell enough art out of his art mobile on these dog-eat-dog -dog New York City streets to pay for his plane fare. If he can't, it's gonna be a long ride to Teddy Ride. Selling up of these things, pay for the plane ticket. Shoo! We're gonna fly down to Telluride, Colorado. Whoa!
whatnot. It's really coming on, you know. I'm feeling the vibes. Mind-boggling. Incredible. Gnarly. It is gorgeous. Beautiful. Steep. Fun. It's beautiful. Ridiculously permissive. Uh, uh. after a festive celebration at the local Chinese restaurant. Rumor has it he disappeared into the Colorado Rockies with his suitcases of beers. So I followed his trail as far as the silver mine, where I found a lot of empty beer cans and a note which read, While every cloud has a silver lining, I was out painting when I should have been mining. Thanks for um, thanks for having us on. Uh, uh, I brought um, my my bodyguard. He comes with me all the time. How uh, oh, cool things? Right? No, yeah. You're, you're, no, that's great. That's great. Listen, um, you, let's just get me, things sir. started. Excuse you know, me. We need to What's like going on here. Going on here. It's up to you, sir. It's, it's your it's your game. Yeah, it's, it's your game. There's an interview going on. There's an interview going on. Please go sit to the side. Just tell me about Chopped a little bit. Tell me about the show Chopped. Sir, wait, oh, wait, excuse me. Oh, sorry. What? I'm I'm gonna interview interview over here. Okay, so just he's yeah he's our own. Who? He's a. Give me Oh my God. I'm sorry, man. I apologize. Aron, how are you, man? I'm sorry. Good to meet you. I was just thinking out of all the cuisines that you like that are out there, and there's there's a bunch, you know. Why Italian? Are you sure you're in the right place, man? This is Mexican. Do I look Italian to you, Marco? This is Mexican. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I'm, I apologize. Yeah, you. Yeah, come over here. You just hold. Yeah. Would you just hold my phone? Yeah. I thought it's, it's Italian, sir. Guys, we're the filming. Producer. Oh, sorry about that. No, I just did. Uh, it's a producer thing, you know. Yeah. I want you to accept this uh, pinata as a token of my apology. Oh, uh, thank you very much. You know, I, what can I say? I mean, anything, really. But anyway, anyway. Uh, as everyone knows, um, Mexican food <laughs> is at the heart of uh, your cuisine. It's part of your soul. Um, do you ever one day hope to be like uh, the head chef uh, in, in a, of, a, of a restaurant like of this, of this caliber? You, you aspire to that. Yeah. Marco, I'm not only the head chef, I own this place. So, yeah. You do have a lot, a lot of tequila here behind the bar, I've noticed. Yeah. Um, and that's that's Mexican thing. Right? It's yeah, it's Mexican. Mexican. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So we don't have to do it now, but we can. No, oh, yeah. It's... Do you want me to open it? No, no. You can check it. Check it first after he opens it. Make sure there's no poison. Just open it up. Take your gloves off. Take your gloves off. While we talk, while we talk. Um, so let me ask you a question. Which which Aztec gods out of out of the Aztec gods really influenced you? Quetzalcoatl was one of the more spiritual deities who sort of dealt with the afterlife and death and strength and the virility of the Aztecs. And that's really what I'm fond of. Uh, and that stuff, if you drink enough of it, you'll come closer to the I will see. I will see Quetzalcoatl? Yeah. Quetzalcoatl? Can I drink it? Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. 
this is really it doesn't taste like potatoes at all. <laughs> I could have got you a glass. Oh, oh, sorry about that. It's a problem. Get some, get some glassware and stuff. Wow, it's start wax rhapsodic to me about chicken. Because I know it's so many, so many, chicken is, it plays such a big part in the menu. You do so many things with it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about chicken. Chicken, the ultimate canvas. It can take on flavor so well. It can be grilled, it can be roasted, mixed into a salad. It's just about anything you want it to be. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't received one. Oh, wait, 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 so hungry. Hey, what's oh, going on here? This? Hey, look, man. What are you doing, man? What the heck's going on here? I can't. Explain. What, you call this a pizza? Look, explain man, this. This is a high-end restaurant, I'll man. We wanted to have a little I'll snack. I'll explain it, all right? Yeah, well. That's the special. All right, what's so special about three and a half slices with a, with a shotgun shot right going through the middle of one? What's special? Here, take this pizza back to the pizza place. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. And tell them already. Like, the dude wanted a pizza, and I was all like. Chris, I was literally just running over to your place. Uh, I actually, you know, in my spare time, which was, I don't have much of it, like, you know, busy man like you, I launched my brand new line of octopus flavored candy corn. So, nice. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. I was bringing it up to a couple of gourmet stores they want to carry it. Whatever, I'm not dropping names, you know. I mean, just like some of the gourmet food stores. That's good. The squid flavor is kind of yeah. interesting, right? It's definitely you. It grows on your head. <laughs> Gotta keep it moving. Yeah. I also did this piece that I told you I was gonna do. It's small, you know. Um, oh, that's nice. But, you know, it's kind of like um, a candy bar piece. It has um, some, you know, elements in it, which I think you'll appreciate. But look, if this is too um, too big for you, I got a tiny little piece. It's not much. It's just a tiny thing. Okay. You know, it's this way you can put it on your, on your, uh... Look at that! Uh, right by the side of your fan, just a small little thing on the roof. I think it's a vertical piece, that's kind of like Oh, man! Look at that! That is heavy duty, bro! Yeah, so if you don't, you don't have, you know, a lot of wall space, this is perfect. Marco, this is unreal, man. You were able to hit upon all the historic and cultural elements in Mexico. The art, the culture, the history. And then you have sort of me in the middle there. Uh, looks sacrificing an avocado. I think that's how they make guacamole. Isn't that the first guacamole was made that way? Um, oh man, look at the tequila, look at all of it. Marco's one-of-a-kind hand-painted bottle of Avion Reposado tequila will also be auctioned off at the event. A tequila so good, it could only be made from the fermented distilled juice of the rare and elusive Flying Agave. This is stunning, bro. But man, I'm just, I'm blown away. I don't know what to tell you, man. You really hit it on the head with that. I really hope it was worth it. I mean, I, and, uh, I tried to put all these different elements in there. I mean, it's like making a meal, right? Of course. You know, you need to get all the uh, elements in. Yeah. Well, I just love you... it. All right. I, you know what? The thing I want to see there, I want to see this 
find a home, perhaps in a charitable outlet. Let's see. That's a great idea. So let's think about that. You and I will That's get with that. That's a great idea. Yes, no problem. Okay. I'll, I'll slip this to you in your mail slot or something. Totally, no joke. I'm yeah. catching that again. Without a doubt. So we'll work together on this. All right, All right. thanks a lot, Marco. Your old shit is so cool. I could be a celebrity chef, too. I already have a signature dish. How'd you know? I've got you figured. But you can't guess who's on the next show. Justin Bieber's? Moon Baby. Snoop Doggy Dogs? Possibly. Uh, Scarlett Johansson? 